I've got a piece of a crybaby bridge. Maybe we should tell him about it. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels with your hosts, Sean and Marianne Gunn. <laughs> well, hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I'm your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co-host, Marianne Donnelly. Today we are talking about a crybaby bridge, and you actually have a piece of it. I do. We're actually talking about two different things today. We are talking about Panic D number 1003. That's right. It's the third wow. record that was added to the database and that is the Newton Falls covered bridge which is also considered a crybaby bridge when it comes to the paranormal so and you have a piece of it I do um, let's go ahead and do the history now and we'll come back and talk about that piece a little bit and a couple other things and we'll be right back so for the history of the Newton Falls covered bridge watch this video we'll be right back the Newton Falls Covered Bridge connects Bridge Street with Arlington Road and crosses one of two branches of the Mahoning River which cut through Newton Falls, Ohio. Constructed in 1831, the bridge still accommodates autos over the east branch of the river. It is the second oldest covered bridge in the state, the only one in Ohio with a covered crosswalk, and the last covered bridge in Trumbull County. The crosswalk was added in 1921-1922 for the safety of the students walking to the school on North Center Street at the eastern end of Bridge Street. The bridge is 117 feet long and it is of the town lattice truss style. It is said to have replaced a long bridge constructed of the, on the same site. Maintenance of the historical structure is provided by Trumbull County. Over the years, the wooden span has required occasional repair after floods, ice jams, or tornado, and continuous use. Truck traffic is prohibited. In November 1974, the bridge was listed with the U.S. Department of Interior's National Register of Historic Places. The original oak floor of the bridge was laid crosswise with planks two inches thick and 10 feet by 12 feet wide. The floor was completely replaced in 1982. The Trumbull County engineers attempt to match the original materials, but none of the planks in the structure are standard size today and must be specially cut. Hickory lumber is difficult to find now, and the rafter beams must be obtained in Canada. The bridge was reinforced with steel beams and piers in 1962. After the May 31, 1985 tornado that hit Newton Falls, the main roof and sidewalk roof were repaired and covered with metal. The east branch structure is one of possibly five covered bridges which were constructed in Newton Township. All right, so you have a piece of that bridge. How did you get it? Did you steal that? I did not steal you it. thief! I didn't steal it. In fact, um, it was at the chili cook-off in town uh, yeah, two years ago. It was a fundraiser for the library. They actually had a few of the beams that were uh, donated to, the, to them, and they chopped them up in a bunch of pieces, and then they put these little placards on them, and they sold them. Which, so. in case you folks aren't getting a hint of things, we're going to have an episode coming up down the road of the different pieces that we've collected from haunted Ooh. locations this is one of them so yeah uh, so i get yeah. to have one that was kind of cool yeah so that's that hickory wood um that's hard to come by and when they did repairs on it uh last time they yeah they replaced some trusses mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing that might be actually a piece of the uh maybe the original floorboards i don't know i'm not sure i don't know that's just a little section, but that's, a, it that's is. almost they like had, a brick. Yeah, they, they actually had them sliced up like this. They had about 10 or 15 of them sitting there. And they said, well, yeah. which one do you want? And I'm like, oh, uh, all of them? <laughs> no. So. so I got one, though. So. Yeah, kind of cool. So it was a donation to the library. Yeah. Uh, and also we got to have a piece of the uh, Newton Falls Bridge. Newton Falls history. So we um, 
yesterday, actually, before we put this together, we had some time between a couple things at work. So we drove down uh, to the bridge, got some footage, and we talked about the urban legend of crybaby bridges. I'm doing so good today, not stumbling over my words. You're, I love it. You are doing good. Okay, so... Um, Must have got some sleep. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I slept in today. Um, so we have another video for you. So watch this video, and we're going to drive from where we work um, mm -hmm. down to and uh, the covered bridge and show you the bridge and get out and walk on it and talk about the crybaby bridge, urban legends, and that kind of thing. So uh, give this a watch, and then we're going to come back again and talk about why we think that this bridge could possibly be haunted if it's true. Right. So we'll be right back. So the Newton Falls Covered Bridge mm -hmm. is what this is about. Ooh. So we're talking about <laughs> the paranormal. Okay. For Sorry it. about the video, guys. Yeah, it's, we're actually. I'm saying, actually just holding this in the car. Okay, there's Sean. Yeah, Ooh, he's really close. We're leaving I, uh, work at the school. We're going to drive down there and go over the bridge and show you the bridge. Anyways. The Newton Falls Cover Bridge is reported on the internet to be haunted. I get a lot of flack from people that are like, oh no, the cover bridge is haunted, oh I can't believe you're saying that. Well, here the thing is, is it's designated as a crybaby bridge. Now, I did a search on the internet, you could do it too. There are literally millions of crybaby bridges across the United States. Well, maybe not millions, but no, lots. there's millions. It comes up 1.8 million. Really? I have a picture okay. I'm going to show them right now of my Google search okay. for crybaby bridge. Okay. Now, yeah, you're right. That was search results. There could be. There's just a lot. So most bridges <laughs> are designated. If they're designated as a crybaby bridge, basically what that means is there's a few different stories on how it got the name of Crybaby Bridge. Basically, there's reports of hearing a baby cry coming from beneath the bridge. Crybaby Bridge. Okay. Now, how did that come to, to pass, and why are there so many? Number one, how it came to pass. All right. There's three different ways that it it could have happened. This is basically an urban legend or creepy pasta, whatever term you want to use, that's been going around for years about Crying Baby Bridge. So either the first story, which is a lady got married out of wedlock and she was kicked out of her family and she was just so desperate that she just took the baby and jumped off the bridge and that's why there's paranormal claims. That's the one story. The second story is kind of the same thing. Had a baby out of red lock, um, and she went to the bridge and threw, threw the baby over the bridge. She didn't take her own life. The third way, which is a little bit, it's kind of, it's sad, but it's, it's not like suicide murder type thing. It's accidental death, where a lady is... Um, walking with a baby late at night it gets foggy out and she comes across a bridge and the sound and the baby's crying she can't stop the baby from crying but the sound of the water soothes the baby and the baby stops crying so she stops on the bridge to get the baby to go to sleep and she gets too close to the edge and one said either somebody pushed her or she slipped or something and either dropped the baby or fell in with the baby or something like that. However, okay. So these are urban legends, but they're also considered to be town jumpers. Now, town jumper means it's the same type of story that you find in many small little towns back before television and the internet and all this other stuff. It's the same stories that circulates and come up where. So where was the original bridge? Nobody really knows. There's ours. But the Newton Falls Cover Bridge has been designated as a crybaby bridge. So, and it's raining right now, so the water is a little bit rustly. So, this bit, the original bridge was built in 1831. 
I have a separate historical video. It's been rebuilt once, uh, not too long ago actually, because the truck got stuck under it and basically almost ripped it down. I'll turn around, we'll go over. Yeah, those height requirements. You know, some people yeah. think they're just an, uh, uh, a suggestion. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they're just a suggestion. But. Uh, can you get a shot of it from here? So, this is the second oldest cover bridge in the state of Ohio right now that does exist. It's the oldest bridge. In Ohio, definitely. I don't know if it's the country that has the walk that you can walk across. It. You can see it on the edge here. Now we've been over this and by this hundreds, hundreds of times. Uh, and we even like walked across it on Fourth of July. We did. And we can get out and walk across it. Actually, we could have parked right there and walked over. Maybe I'll turn around. Very cool bridge. There, we'll park right here we'll walk. But the last renovation they did, uh, they put a metal roof on it. So yeah, here we are, in Falls Cover Bridge. That's when they just, 2007, they rehabbed it, put that metal roof on it. Being in the ring. So this is the east branch of the Mahoney River. So Newton Falls, basically downtown Newton Falls, which would be on the right hand side over here, is actually an island because you have the east branch of the river and on across town you have the west branch of the river and that over there used to be a, a dual covered bridge which was tore down back in the 30s, maybe 20s even, and they built that bridge for the arsenal like outside of town. But, uh, this one survived, and it's been rebuilt, reconditioned, tilings has been changed, you know, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, you want to get shot down there? That's kind of cool. Oh, the car just went over. Do you feel that? Uh-huh. So you can see the river moves pretty fast here. Yeah, especially when it's raining. So if that story about a uh, mom dropping her baby accidentally or whatever, it's going to go downstream pretty quick. Yeah, it should be going quick. Anybody here with us? Now the story actually states, can you get that fog rolling in? See the fog coming across? It was a foggy night. The way you want that primary story goes. That's kind of creepy right there. So we, the mother that lost her baby, did the story originate here in Newton Falls? Is that possible? And the thing is, you know, with these stories, they had to originate from some place. So why was that designated to this Newton Falls bridge? You know, there's no, there's no records or anybody of anybody dying off of this bridge anywhere, but you know how that happens is, um, you know, records get destroyed, so 
and Newton Falls, you know, historical society or trying to get to the historical records is not that easy. So anyways, that's, uh, this is it. This is our, one of our locations, so. Okay, so back to us in the studio. All right, well, if anybody was here and talked to Sean, Yes, if anybody thank you left very a message much. on the recorder here, thank you. We'll listen back to it later. So thank you very much. All right, off to the studio. All right, so in that video, I talked about the West Side cover bridge that was in town. Uh, and I think I said it had closed in the 20s or 30s. It was actually 1942 where uh, they closed it down. They replaced it with a pretty sturdy bridge because of the arsenal so that the military trucks can get into town. So that's when they tore that bridge down. It was 1942. So trying to be historically correct here, there you folks. Go. Um, but yeah, crybaby bridge story and uh, the town jumpers. We've heard other stories that's like that too. Mm -hmm. So uh, pretty interesting. Have you had any flack from any people in town once we went paranormal and they said, oh, the cover bridge isn't haunted? Have you heard any of that stuff? <laughs> Um, most people say that it's it's not haunted at all. There's yeah. nothing, you know. But they did quite enjoy when we did um, our the, the boys, our Du Bois boys. family uh, yeah. event there in in town. They all were like, "Ooh," you know. But at the same time, they're like, "Oh, but nothing's haunted." But, well, when we you know. started Panic D and and the post started coming out and stuff, I started getting flack from people I know. That's like, "Okay, this is a stretch." Well, you know what? We didn't make it up. I mean, this is reports on other sites. Like, what were you researching today? I was researching for some, some for the one, that for we the one we're going to on tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, so what website was that? Do you remember? There were a whole bunch of them. There was Trumbull County Ghost Stories. There's um, and, and like a lot of those sites, like Shadowlands and that kind of stuff, right. where you know they Ohio. copy from each other. So it originated from somewhere. We didn't start that. You right. Know, we didn't start the fire. So, but there are reports of the bridge being haunted. So where they originated from, I don't know. It's the same way with the story of a cover bridge or a cover crybaby bridge i don't know where that originated from and that's something that would probably be too hard to to find um but there are reports out there on the internet about it so we didn't make it up folks so back off no i'm just kidding <laughs> no that's all right um yeah so that's how it landed into uh, uh panic d when i found it because I was looking for paranormal Newton Falls. I'm originally from Newton Falls. We work in Newton Falls. Um, I was looking for paranormal Newton Falls, and that came up in a lot of jackpot that's going in the database because, you know, all my monitor and all that stuff. So, yeah. Do you have anything you would like to add? No, not really. I mean, it's just I remember when, I, when we first started dating, mm -hmm. actually, uh, I was making a you you had a script for me and i read it for um newton falls history of the schools yes. and i remember pieces of the script were about the the covered bridge and why it was as wide as it was and things like that yeah. and, um, we had you to told find me that. about that yeah i tried looking for it i couldn't find it yeah. it might be hidden in archives at work and or something yeah we made it for the for the school yeah it was for the school for uh something that was going on uh Newton Falls night or something for the Cavelli Center for the hockey team and they played be. it there that video okay and I just so remember I, have, I just remember the superintendent and everybody they were all making fun of me saying I was the voice of Newton Falls yeah, now it sounds like a PBS narrated <laughs> thing yeah I'll have to find that somewhere yeah. um but uh yeah so if it is haunted uh what's your thoughts why could it be haunted it's well, very clearly obvious. there's a, a nice water source running right underneath Jackpot. it. Jackpot. You saw that in that video. So, um, the running water. That's, it, it's, that's a big one thing of the all theories the time, yeah. is that one, running water is great energy for spirits. And it and it and it's quick, too. Yeah. So. Um, that recording that we made, we didn't... I didn't hear anything on it. But, of course, yeah, we it was were, during the day, too. And so we were only there for, like, ten minutes. Yeah. I just we thought, hey, We literally we'll had to get from school and back so that we could yeah. do another event so i would like to maybe at some point before we're too old is maybe to go there at night i would have to clear it with the police department and somehow that kind of stuff. i and feel that we wouldn't have too much of an issue getting them to let no, us chill no actually there was one officer that i was talking to about and he's like sure anytime you know, they'll, they'll be jazzed to go down there with us but 
I don't know, maybe this summer. Maybe we'll just go down for like an hour or so and do some EVPs and see if we hear anything. The crying or something like that. And we'd have to, well, Newton Falls rolls up their streets <laughs> fairly early, but uh, we'd have to be like real early in the morning just to kind of, uh, since it's outside, to eliminate some uh, contamination. But, uh, all right. Okay, so if you have any stories or any reports, or if you heard anything about the Cover Bridge in Newton Falls being haunted, please leave them in the comments. Um, or if oh, you've especially heard any of the crying. Yeah, absolutely. If you had an experience yourself. Yeah, if you had an experience. Um, hopefully people from Newton Falls are going to watch this. Um, if not, if you have a crybaby bridge in your town or your local area, tell us about it. Leave it in the comments section. Um, That'd be kind of interesting just to see how many people I know of within our area four that have that same I was say story. Three, so you know of one. Yeah. Okay. And hey. we've been to all four of them. Hmm, I wonder which one I forgot. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> that one down to Beaver Creek, and I don't know the other. Two, but yesterday I counted them up. I don't remember what they were because I didn't write them down. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's the same story with it with that town jumper. You know, back then there was no TV, really no phone, um, and they would tell stories. And that town with the traveling salesman and that kind of stuff, that story would go mm -hmm. from town to town to town to town, and that's how they entertained each other with the with the stories. It's like, oh, I remember when you know, yeah. I remember when, but where did it start? Don't know. Someday maybe we'll uncover it. The first then crybaby bridge. Someday story. we may not. <laughs> anyways if you like this video give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that bell for more videos from panic d video so until next time thanks for watching and happy hunting if you like this video and like to see more in the future please be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a like below also if you have any comments or or suggestions for our future videos, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching this episode of Our Haunted Travels.